When outbreaks of COVID-19 at meat processing plants in the U.S. slowed production, American wholesalers turned to foreign beef suppliers. Beef exporters in the small country of Nicaragua were happy to fill that gap, actually ramping up production amid the pandemic. But this has come at a high cost for indigenous communities who are being run off their land to make way for cattle ranches. A warning to viewers, this story contains some upsetting images of violence. Nate Halverson of Reveal from the Center for Investigative Reporting is our guide. That classic American meal, the hamburger, is increasingly arriving on ships. Imports of frozen beef are up nearly 20% since the coronavirus pandemic began slowing U.S. meat production. And one country has led that surge of imported beef. Visita Nicaragua. Nicaragua, that small Central American country, has become the third largest supplier of frozen beef to the United States. Its imports have reached an all-time high during the pandemic, doubling in just four years according to U.S. import records I reviewed. But how this little country, the size of Mississippi, exports all that beef comes with a cost. The supply chain of beef from Nicaragua is anything but clean. Anurana Mittal runs a nonprofit, the Oakland Institute, that investigates land thefts around the world. In a socially distanced interview, she described how she went to Nicaragua after hearing that cattle ranchers are stealing land from indigenous communities. When you got there, what did you find? The indigenous populations are not just losing their lands, they're losing their livelihoods, they're losing their lives. In January, a group of armed cattle ranchers attacked an indigenous community in Nicaragua, burning homes and killing four men. An indigenous leader shared these cell phone images that capture the destruction and the funerals in their community. People are dying from violent land invasions, the land's taken away for cattle ranching, cattle which then turns into beef which comes into United States. Yes, people are being killed. The indigenous communities own these lands under a landmark international court ruling 19 years ago. Yet, a recent United Nations report reveals that despite the law, indigenous people are increasingly losing their lands and their lives to cattle ranchers. So this violence is escalating. Lonnie Cunningham is a leader in the indigenous community. I asked her about the cattle invasions. That is going to cause us a ethnocide. And as indigenous people, we are going to disappear. As beef exports have increased to the U.S., so have attacks on these small indigenous communities, resulting in whole villages being decimated and abandoned. In this year, we have more than 10 people in less than seven months murder already. And the settlers, them shot with a gun, one girl of 14 years. Why would somebody do that to her? To create fear. Is it safe for you? No, it's not safe for me. I have suffered death threat. I have suffered intimidation, harassment. But I have to continue this battle because my people is suffering. The Nicaraguan government is legally obligated to protect the indigenous people from land invasions. But Cunningham and others say that instead, El President Daniel Ortega's Nicaragua government, government is cutting Ortega ribbons for new slaughterhouses, which buy cattle raised on the stolen lands and sell the beef to their biggest customer, the United States. The Nicaraguan ambassador, who I spoke to multiple times on the phone, declined to sit down for an interview or address the deadly attacks by cattle ranchers. One of those things. But Senator Mike Rounds, who has been looking into imported beef, told me in a socially distanced interview that most Americans don't even realize they're eating Nicaraguan beef. American consumers don't have any inkling as to where their beef comes from today. That's because U.S. beef importers are no longer required to disclose where their meat comes from after a change in U.S. regulations four years ago. That's right. The chances are very good that it can contain product from other countries and that all that happened was it was brought here to the United States and if they slice it up here, they can put a product of the USA sticker on it. Senator Rounds wants all beef to carry country of origin labeling again and in October introduced the U.S. Beef Integrity Act. If it comes from a country where you believe that there are human rights violations, if it comes from a country where you don't trust that the quality is being assured, 
then I think the consumer should have the ability to say, wait a minute, I don't want to buy that. Dozens of companies import beef from Nicaragua. Thomas Foods is one of the largest, importing beef from some of the same slaughterhouses that Lottie Cunningham said are buying cattle from the ranchers attacking her community. Thomas Foods sells its imported grass-fed and organic beef nationwide to Walmart, Safeway, Target, even Yale University. On its website, it claims to track production, quote, every step of the way, literally from the farm to the table. But in Nicaragua, that's not true. Like other importers of Nicaraguan beef, it buys from the slaughterhouses, not directly from the farmers, and has no way of ensuring where in Nicaragua that beef comes from. Well, I'm here at Thomas Foods. The CEO, Michael Forrest, has not returned my phone calls or my emails, but I thought I'd give him one last try to see if we can sit down and hear about Nicaraguan beef imports. Yeah, hey, Michael, it's Nate Helverson with Reveal and the PBS NewsHour. Michael Forrest never called back but I talked to company security guards who helped track down a different executive. I'm John Cassidy, I'm the chief financial officer. I explained to John Cassidy what I had read in public reports, the murder and violence, and how the Nicaraguan slaughterhouses were sourcing beef from these stolen lands. If we were to find out that there was something like you just explained going on, that would definitely impact our purchasing decision. Who within your company's job is it to make sure that that's not happening in the beef industry? I think that falls to all of us as executives. Mm -hmm. So if, if Thomas Foods knew that, that within Nicaragua the beef was being sourced from these regions where the indigenous people, the brown people, the black people are being murdered, um, and their land taken from them, you guys would stop buying from Nicaragua? I we would. Nicaragua? Yes. Yeah, so we're not, you know, we're not to, out to exploit anyone. Thomas Foods emailed me a statement a few days later saying they will continue to import from Nicaragua because their partners have an agreement that commits to zero agricultural activity in protected areas. I asked for a copy of that agreement, but Thomas Foods declined, saying they would have no further comment. If they're saying that there's actually actions being taken, uh, they're lying. Camilo de Castro Belli, a veteran Nicaraguan journalist, said the indigenous communities and the cattle companies did discuss an agreement, but it fell apart. Uh, there's no agreement. The cattle industry has been uh, basically worried about their bottom line, and they haven't taken any concrete actions. De Castro recently filmed these cattle being raised on the same indigenous lands that Thomas Foods said that agreement was supposed to protect. De Castro said U.S. retailers need to take a closer look at their supply chains. They are being complicit with a system that is hurting people, which is killing people. I reached out to Walmart, Safeway, and Target. Safeway's parent company said they bought beef from Thomas Foods this year because of the meat shortages. Walmart declined to comment, and Target denied selling beef from Nicaragua. But when I sent details about Thomas Foods' import records, the retailer declined further comment. I asked Lottie Cunningham what she would have Americans do about Nicaraguan beef. Please don't buy it. That's the way, that's the way they could contribute with us. But American consumers can't make that choice until they know where their beef comes from. And so for now, the cattle ranches in Nicaragua are expanding and the killings continue. For PBS NewsHour and Reveal, I'm Nate Halverson.